Hello, it's me, French Ted, and we are here for a brand new series. Uh, this was voted on a Reddit poll that I did. A Reddit poll I had to do twice because the first one ended in a draw. So I did another one with a few different options and a different thing won to the first one. Very confusing, but we got there in the end. Uh, the winner, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, was a local to global or as i think tw20 calls it insignificant to titanic or something but we're going to stick with local to global because that's just what people know it as um and you can probably tell by from the thumbnail as well that we are william regal uh, you can see here the mystery of william regal having been reportedly spotted backstage at several major wrestling events recently the mysterious william regal has become a hot topic of conversation in the wrestling world Although his intentions remain unknown at this point in time, there are heavy rumours that he may be an investor looking to start his own promotion. Only time will tell if those rumours are accurate. Those rumours are accurate because we, as William Regal, are going to create our own wrestling promotion and start from local and hopefully work our way up to global. This is something that I have never really done before and whenever i have started my own company like you know for fun not as a youtube series i've usually injected a ton of money into myself before starting the game so yeah this is going to be a challenge um but we're just going to have to ride that wave and do our best so before we do anything else we need to start our own company and i've already uh thought of the company name and everything that goes along with it um, my fiance and I created a logo, uh, so I've put that in the game. So let's just put it all here. And the company is called Lariat League Wrestling, also known as LLW. Uh, website, let's just go LLW.com. Uh, location, now William Regal is from England, as am I, despite being called French Ted. So we are going to base it pretty much kind of where I live in southern England, a.k.a. London is basically where we're going to vibe. Uh, home arena, we're not going to do anything about that. Schedule strategy, I'm going to leave that empty because that's something I'm going to do. Challenge level, what's rock hard? Rock hard, you get a company which is barely known with zero prestige. Based on your current reputation, you'll start with two and a half grand. What's, what's the difference between hard? Only known low carry of 5k screw it let's go rock hard and uh the should be here there we go and this is the logo we made nice and simple l l w and the kind of upside down l if you really squint kind of looks like someone's given someone a lariat so i don't know i thought it was pretty cool um yeah so let's look at our product oh nearly started the comp uh, company then uh we're going to call it the lariat way that is our product and the one I originally wanted to use was, where is it? I've forgotten what it's called now. I think I've gone past it. Yes, gone past it. Let's go back to the top. Um, it's something, hold on, deathmatch, no, not deathmatch. Fast and fast, Fu fast and furious, I think is the one that we wanted to use. Um, the product so generally associated with smaller wrestlers this is a fairly serious style all about match quality bouts are generally fast paced full of cutting edge moves incorporating high flying technical hard strikes but I feel like that's something that Wooly and Regal would want to use you know technical hard strikes incorporating like the more modern high flying stuff um, face heel defied yes let's have it loosely enforced a weight split no stables yeah but not integral managers yeah um, don't say anything i want something about sponsorships um so it doesn't say anything about sponsorships unless i'm blind no okay so at least it doesn't say that we're not keen to get sponsorships or tv deals so that's fine uh women's wrestling <coughs> we'll make that medium division uh, match focus ensemble what does that mean i don't know let's just go regular focus angle focus regular and then the booking style what's this um 
isn't there one where we can just do a mixture of everything variety yeah let's just go variety never going to use that so it doesn't matter so i think this is the product we're going to stick with um moves are not allowed moves are not allowed it should be called in the matches should be called in the ring matches should be scripted no save cool let's uh start our company and there we go lariat league wrestling has started is there any news about it not yet because we're not in the next day but this is where we are we've got nothing anywhere we've just got good old william regal is there a different picture for william regal just wondering oh that one looks a little bit more like how he looks now you know old there we go and he's happier let's go face why not yeah we're a face as an englishman that's our gimmick englishman <laughs> okay okay so let's just work along here i think today's episode is just going to be about sorting all of this stuff out um and then taking a look at workers and maybe revealing a roster i don't know okay so brand split that's gonna be their chemistry is anything gonna be in creative our hidden gems can we okay i might jump back here and look at these if they're all the <clears throat> next big things especially if um, i'm starting off as insignificant they might be people to look at product we've just done uh, the lariat away yep it's all there perfect roster ignore stables ignore storylines ignore are we expected to do storylines no there will still be storylines but at least it won't be a high priority titles okay titles i'm not too sure on what to do we can rename them at any point um but i had a uh, idea um and I didn't want to introduce loads of titles at the start. So I think I just want one men's, one women's. No tag titles just yet. Because, you know, we need to have a large roster for that. And when you're early on in these local to globals, you want to keep it... We, we want to keep your roster as small as possible. Um, and the idea I've got, given that we're based in England, which, you know, royal family, William Regal in the past has had a very... Well, his surname's Regal, which is, you know, to do with royalty... So our world champion isn't going to be called a world champion. It's going to be called King of the Lariat League. Uh, singles, matches, any limit, uh, male only, minimum weight, none. Primary, function, just normal, brand, none. Event frequency, I'm going to put often and often. And tour frequency doesn't matter. I don't like not having a picture, but we'll leave it like that for now. And then let's create. I think you guys can guess what the women's one is called. Queen of the Lariat League. And the cool thing about this is we could do a... Um, like a mid-card belt down the line. And that could be Prince of the Lariat League. You know, things like that. Uh, so that could be a fun thing to do. So this is going to be singles. And this is female. None, none. Primary. Uh, function, normal, brand, none. Yep, let's go often and often perfect save so we have got our two titles the king and queen of the lariat league both starting with a 30 prestige hold on what is our um so zero prestige and zero momentum so does that mean that we've got we've got 10 popularity in southern england smallest possible size actually let's look at the um size criteria kind of jumping all over the place but let's have a look so for southern england um to get to tiny we need to have 17 popularity in our home region i don't think that's too hard to do as long as we can put on, you know, decent events, we should have that hopefully in no time or in a couple of months, depending obviously on how much um, money we've got left over. And then 35 to small, just in southern England. This one we need to get to medium, we need 59 popularity, leaving the capital, uh, plus 35 in the Midlands. So it would be good to start to do shows in we'll focus on southern region and midlands and then big is just 77 popularity across all of the uk international um 71 throughout europe and um well 71 in europe 77 plus in british and then this is 77 in every region of at least five game areas wow i think titanic is going to be hard the british empire love that um i think tiny is achievable and I think once we get to tiny slash small, we should be fine to kind of, you know, be a bit more risky with our decisions. But this early on, especially only having two and a half K, we need to be careful. So titles we've done, tournaments, none, obviously. Announcers, 
no announcers until you get a TV deal. Um, I've learned that. Broadcasting, we're not going to have any, are we? View all broadcasters, search. We'll negotiate, yes. Of course, no one wants to negotiate, that's fair enough. Um, coverage, we can ignore that because we've got none anywhere. Events and TV. So I've got two events that I want to book. So let's do them now, which I think they'll eventually turn into TV shows when we can get broadcasting deals, or one of them will. Uh, so the first one is just called LLW Live. And I have created a little thing. Oh, there's a spoiler for the other one. LLW Live. Uh, it's just a one hour show, which is what all our shows are going to be for now. Uh, brand none and you'll know it's going to be a monthly show and it's going to happen Saturday week one yeah uh, status I'm going to put it as dormant for now because we need a roster before we can have an event uh, the intent normal ticket pricing we're going to go very cheap just because we want to get as many people in the door as possible um, and we leave the rest of that as is save and continue and then the next one is called Lariat League in London. And that is the LLW in London. Yeah. I think. Is there another London one? Uh, let's just take over. Why does it say Alt then? I don't know why I named it that. And that's going to be one hour. And that is going to be week threes on a Thursday. Because why not? And we'll keep that very cheap and we'll keep that fixed venue, you know, fixed area. We'll have to do south of England. Southern England. Save. So these are our two shows, Larry League in London and LLW Live. Cool. We will push those live once we have a roster. Let's just keep working through these. Pre-booking show history, top 100s backstage. Uh, no drugs allowed, no smoking's allowed, um, no outsiders allowed. Um, we'll organize hotels and we'll organize transport, but we will not organize, but we don't pay for any of that stuff. Catering, dress code, nobody leaves until match. So I think that's fine. 75, and I've got good leadership skills. Nice, nice, nice. Negative effect. What? Is that because of this? There we go. So outsiders are now allowed. Cool. <laughs> uh, child companies, company info, yet nothing to change there. Developmental, no drug testing, no. I'm not going to drug test myself. Finance, um, I mean, it's zero. I thought it could tell us about, here we go. Sponsorship income. So we should be getting around 1,175 sponsorship income. That's cool. Marketing, about £75 per show. £40 per show for miscellaneous production, 100 So that's how much it will cost. Um, per show so that's kind of sucks um house shows obviously we're not going to do where's house shows just to make sure yeah let's turn off all days not that that's going to affect anything anytime soon uh company for developmental drug testing where were we hall of fame investments i mean no uh, medical no merchandise we'll leave that we're not upgrading anything owner goals production we'll leave that promises nothing size we know what size we are Ticket prices, so here, so for events, we'll do very cheap, TV shows, cheap, house show or tour, very cheap. We'll just, yeah, not that that makes too much of a difference. Oh, hold on, it will tell us how much we make. So our popularity is zero, which it is in most places. We'll get about seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh, okay. Um, and that, I believe, is everything. We can't really strike any relationships with anyone. Um, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about maybe trying to get a developmental deal with someone. Um, but who, I do not know, because obviously they'll pay for the person. Like Deadlock Pro have got some people that I like. Defy have some people I like. But I don't think any of these people would want developmental deals. So let's not look into that. Okay, so that's all done. Let's just quickly save. We've got that sorted. Everything we need to create is created. Now it's time to look for some workers. And the first thing we want to look for, as you can see, I already looked at some British guys before. We need to find a referee. So let's go roll referee. And we need to have them based in southern England because travel costs are a bitch. And we want them to be unemployed so that they are solely working for us. 
actually we want the refereeing to be pretty good as well so let's go 50 refereeing is there going to be any no is there any at all no okay let's go midlands then because that's the next closest we've got two des robinson and tom scarborough what's their refereeing 49 58 how much they're going to cost 60 pound per show 50 pound per show okay well his refereeing is a little bit better he's got a better rep reputation he's also younger willing to negotiate so maybe we can get him even cheaper let's try it um so this is a handshake deal exclusively referee merchandise let's try and go zero travel costs are not covered all shows ongoing yeah can we go cheaper sorry if i just hit the mic then guys 30 you'll definitely need to increase the amount okay 40 given my popularity i deserve a higher cut of merchandise 10 percent. 10 percent. there we go hopefully he'll accept that so that's our referee sorted um, another thing I've noticed is, uh, let's go back to William Regal. So I can be an announcer, color, personality, and road agent. I'm tempted to just have myself as the road agent for now, just so we don't need to bring in a road agent. Um, I feel like that's cheating. And I feel like one road agent, that's probably a bit much for them, especially if I want to use Regal in uh, any segments. So let's go Southern England again. Yep. Let's go unemployed. And let's just go road agent and we want experience I think we want experience to be quite high let's go 70 um, and let's go intention to hire obviously cool Johnny kid okay Johnny kid has got 25 pop always oh, gonna be price isn't he 230 per show no let's try this he's the only one based in there let's try Midlands Oh, Ricky Knight and Soraya Knight. So we can get uh, Soraya, aka Paige's parents. 160, 60. Oh, Ricky Knight's. Oh, Soraya's a double whammy, though. We don't really want to hire her, though. Sticks, £50 per show. Um, go title history. What's he been up to? Southside heavyweight. Cool. Um, what's his uh, experience? 100. Reputation, 100. What's his? Yeah, where's the respect? 78, 31, oh, 65. I might go for Ricky Knight. 60 pound per show, yeah. Ricky Knight is currently considered toxic following a scandal. Oh, maybe not. What about Soraya? Oh no, she's more expensive. Let's go sticks. Toxic following a scandal. My goodness. Um, What's closer then? Southern England, Wales? No one. Okay. So let's go Northern England then. Northern. Okay. 70 per show, 110. Martin Kirby could be a wrestler and a road agent. So when he's wrestling, William Regal's a road agent. And when he's not, that could be a two for one. Dave Rain, though, 70 per show. What's his reputation? 100. Experience and such isn't very good, though. Kirby, 100, 100. Negotiate. Let's try it. Ongoing, whatever is needed. Normally, all shows. Let's go zero, not covered. Should we go 80? If you're only paying me per show, I would definitely need you to cover my travel expenses. What about 90? One hundred. Okay then, let's go back down to eighty then, and let's cover your travel expenses. I'm not willing to work for so much less. Okay, ninety covering travel expenses. Needs a hundred. You know what? You're a two for one, so yes. Make offer. Oh, fucking hell! High cut of the merchandise. Five percent. Ten percent. There we go. Okay. Alright, so that's 100 
plus what was the referee 60 50 I can't remember let's have a look it's here view 40 so it's 140 pounds so far on talent uh, we don't need to do any announcers or commentators or anything so that's cool I think we can just jump straight into wrestlers now right got a referee we don't need any broadcast don't need a person don't need any yep let's just go wrestlers and let's go to southern england unemployed um and let's go basics because we want good wrestlers and consistency let's go 70 as well is that pushing the boat out too far oh we got a few we got a few okay 60 per show i'm just looking at how much they cost 30 per show 130 per show i recognize so many of these names back in day i used to go to so many independent wrestling shows in london that like half these names oh some of them were in nxt i think he was in nxt uk once Shah samuels what a lad he comes out with a scarf on flash morgan webster is a little cult hero um i'm not even looking at how much they are 70 160 that makes sense 140 all uh kelly six jody flea she's an old bastard and he costs a lot of money He's also old. He's also old. Yeah, I'm not looking at ages, man. Okay. Um, Ashton Smith. Pretty good stats here. Athleticism's high. Resilience. What's the stamina like? 73. Not bad. I think for wrestlers now, because Martin Kirby's wrestler slash road agent, I'm just going to shortlist a bunch of names and then we'll work through the shortlist together. So um, just so I'm not boring you guys with this searching. I'll go away now. I'll build a short list of potentials and then we can work through that. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, and we are back. So I've done a bit of digging. Um, there's not a great deal of unemployed British wrestlers about. So especially in... Well, actually, no, there are. That's a lie. Um, actually, there's a couple off the top of my head that I know of who I might add to the list. Um, no, I'll stick with what we've got because based on the numbers and based on if I look at their picture and go, oh, I quite like them, uh, they're in my shortlist. But I did have a little thinky-poo, so let's just have a look here. Um, so this is kind of the structure that I think I'll follow until we at least get to small. So we've got our one-hour shows, and according to our product, it's 90% matches, 10% angles. So for me, that's four matches, three, four matches, and then one, two angles at the most. But they'll be very short angles, usually maybe like a self-promo or someone attack someone. I don't know. Um, and then the structure I'd probably want to follow here is maybe three one-on-one -on -one matches and a tag team match. Um, so open with, you know, pretty strong work the crowd opener, tag team, maybe a women's match and then a main event. Or the women's match can be the main event, depending on who it is. And then in between that, like that angle can be with the main eventer or even it could be William Regal announcing the main event because that will get us pop because it's William Regal um, so that equals to 10 workers 10 11 workers at the most um, ideally though you want a bit of flexibility so add a few numbers on either side so for me it's 10 to 12 men and around four women which equals 14 to 16 workers so I think as a minimum I want to sign at least two women today and eight men but I'm going to try and up that to 10 men, 4 women. So now that you can see what's in my head and what my plan is, let's look at my shortlist. This is the shortlist. Not that many people, but that's probably a good thing. So um, these are all based on different things. A lot of them are based on basics, consistency, stamina. Uh, and then I've got a few people in here for, <coughs> sorry, for star quality. A microphone for any promos we need to do and then just looking at random like technical things like that so yeah let's just take a look who we've got we've got Adam Maxted a few of these names I'm familiar with there's two on here that I've added just because they were recommend well one of them was recommended in the uh, hot prospects or whatever it's called the future stars I can't remember what that section is called but he's in a tag team with someone else and their pictures just look funny um, yeah, so we got Adam Maxted, Ashton Smith, Chakara, um, who's got really high star quality from what I saw. No, she doesn't, 66, don't worry. <laughs> Chardonnay, um, Dara Diablo, who is um, one of the future prospect people. Flash Morgan Webster, 
Grado, anyone that knows Grado knows that he's great and he's probably going to be someone I definitely sign because I'm thinking two of the signings need to be bigger names um, and I think those two are probably going to be Grado, Flash or Trent Seven. But let's just keep going. Uh, Yeston Reese, Jade, uh, Levi Muir, who he's the one with the good star quality, 71, the highest of the unemployed UK people. Mark Andrews, Mandrews, someone who I don't think I'm going to sign just yet because he wants 200 quid. Mike Bird, um, he was the top of the, you know, future stars. Nathan Cruz, Paddy Morrow, look at that picture. And where is it? And Worky. They're a tag team, apparently. Um, I don't know why, but I want to use them. They're like the complete opposite of what William Regal would want, but oh well. We've got Primate, Sam Bailey, who's got some really good stats. Sam Gradwell, um, who I think was in NXT UK for a little while. Uh, Sona Durson, uh, probably not going to sign him. He was the, the last on the list of the future guys. Stevie Boy, got really solid stats across the board. Tucker, who also solid stats across the board. we got Worky, uh, which is uh, Paddy Morrow's mate. Zan Phoenix and Zoe Lucas, who honestly looks like a 10-year-old. But apparently she's 31. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to filter by uh, Southern England um, because they will cost the least travel wise um, and let's work oh great okay let's work off this list so who's the cheapest on here 40 130 30 I do want Levi he looks like he'll be good 90 30 40 okay Levi let's offer you a deal travel is not covered 10% handshake 30 can we go lower can we go 10 or is that taking the piss yeah 20 uh make sure let's put that to zero ongoing whatever is needed all shows given my popularity i think everyone's gonna want 10 percent. that's fine okay so that's one um let's just focus on the guys for now we'll do the girls afterwards male Anyone else here? Ashton Smith is 60. He's got quite good stats. Sam Gradwell also has good stats. Flash Morgan Webster is going to be pricey, but he's got really good aerial and flashiness. And I think his popularity is quite good. Yeah. Um, what are these guys saying? 26 in Southern England, 16 in Southern England. And he'll cost me 60. He'll cost me 90. Um, Brawler, technical flyer. And high flyer, so these two guys could maybe do something together. Um, this is hard. I mean, I could offer a deal to everyone because it's a per show, um, so it's not going to cost me having them on the roster if I'm not using them, right? No, let's not do that because that will lead to silly decisions. Okay, I'm just going to do it based on who I think. I'd flash Morgan Webster. I'm going to back pocket him for now. Sam Gradwell, um, I'm going to back pocket him for now. Ashton Smith, I'm going to try and sign you. Let's go 40, 10% not covered. Okay, so should we try 45? 50, okay, fine, 50. All right, that's two. Remember, we've got Martin Kirby as well. So technically that's three, so let's go three. Um, and now let's go Midlands because that's the next closest, I think. Yes, and Reese. Trent Seven's a big name. It's 400 per show, though. Um, he might be someone that we'll just have to wait on because he's getting old. He's got really good pop. And in all honesty, I think Grado is the one that I want to bring in. So I think let's just change this uh, to anywhere. And let's just go British Isles because they're all based here anyway. Um, cool. We'll just work through it. Do you have low flash one was Grado? Let's offer him a thing. 190. That's not much. Um, oh no, we want to lower that to 10. 190. What can we get that down to? 170. Let's try cheaper. 160. Travel costs not covered. If you're only paying per show, I need you to cover my travel expenses. Okay, 160. He wants 170. Yes. High cut of the merchandise. Oh, Grado, you cheeky boy. 15. Yes. Okay, Grado's in quite a lot of money. 
let's just look for the cheapos now 120 no 30 we've already done mandrews can wait mike bird 50 110 40 70 40 sam bailey has got good numbers um where's he based northern england are we gonna have to pay for his travel let's go 30 seems like um yeah not covered covered 30 cool that's next to nothing gradwell did we offer him i can't remember prickly personality professional 30 stevie boy oh yeah stevie boy looked good i would like to hire him 40 and he is based in scotland yeah we'll have to cover the travel expenses yep i'm not keeping count of how many we're signing here tucker's got good stats and okay and he's dirt cheap as well where's he based ireland i'm sure 30 travel has to be covered that's fine let's just go back and look at how many we've offered now so that's one two three four five six seven um maybe we need another big name someone that can play heel is he a heel um how do we find out skills chemistry personal info there's a team with mark andrews and i think i saw that name before no okay he looks like he could be a heel but then again trent seven how much is trent seven 400 flash is 130 i mean 130 is not much can we get 100 he's based in southern england so we don't need to cover any of that 120 that's fine oh shit how many is that oh i need to keep track one two three four five six seven eight okay so that's the minimum men that we wanted the minimum minimum it was eight and two women so let's get to nine should we bring in the uh paddy morrow and worky yeah let's do it why not because we can get them for cheapest chips 20 yep and then paddy morrow i mean what are their personality types balance neutral okay oh this guy is a little bit more due to my declining i only want to be major tv shows and above i mean that's fine because we, we're not going to have any house shows running how old is he 39 declining physical ability oh probably shouldn't have done that then nathan cruz mike bird do we want to do one more mike bird did we offer him a deal no 40 wait where's he based wales fine oh not covered nice he didn't want to include travel what did i just offer him handshake okay cool so i think that is our men's roster just to begin with so kirby levi ashton grado bailey stevie boy tucker flash morgan worky paddy and mike now let's take a look at the women which should be far more straightforward because there wasn't many to pick from uh, so straight away i think jade was the best from what i remembered in terms of stats let's just quickly look oh chardonnay looks pretty good zan actually they they all don't look too bad who's got the best stamina and basics 62 and 71 63 and 70 and they're all going to be that's not the best 66 66 60 66 okay they're all around the same uh what else do we want to look at <clears throat> um i mean none of that matters consistency 57 56 64 53 42 okay so she can do one and now let's just go by who's got the anyone got good pop 13 12 15 16 in southern england wow so i think these three are definites 40 40 40 and then 30 40 so zoe lucas can do one let's sign these four women so she's based in southern england i think yep yeah, can we cheekily get a 25 out of her no okay yep yeah, 30 that's fine cool chardonnay let's negotiate where she based northern england travel will probably need to be covered but let's try our luck 
Yeah. She's a buff thing too, isn't she? I have to look her up on Instagram. <laughs> um, we've got Jade as well. Uh, where's she based? Midlands. Travel costs are not covered though, so that's fine. Like, can we get away with that? Yes, we can. And then the final one, Zan Phoenix, Southern England as well. Perfect, not covered. And we should be able to get a 20 out of her. Cool. Okay. So that, I think, are all the signings I'm going to do for now. Um, I'm not going to set any events to live until we've got all of these people signed. So for now, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Probably a bit of a slog. I'm sorry, guys, but we needed to build the company and build a roster. This is the roster we're working with. Um, I'm going to go away, make some plans, and in the next episode, I'm going to try and do, um, depending on how long the episode is, we might even do one event at a time, but given that I'm trying to do two events a month, we might just merge the two events into one episode. Kind of like what we do in the AEW series where you get Dynamite and Collision. So I think that's probably best, especially because they're only hour shows. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then we can just keep track of our growth and expenditure because that's probably the most important thing. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, this is probably going to be a really long project. Uh, most local to globals are normally set in America where there's a much wider pool to begin with but we're gonna have to grow quite a bit before we can start widening our pool i really want to look at some european talent because i know there's a load of great talent in germany and other places like that but we can't afford that kind of travel just yet um but yeah let's end looking at who is probably going to be our headliner grado <laughs> uh if you don't know grado look him up he's a he's a barrel of fun um I don't think he's that popular in America because I think he was on Impact once. Um, but yeah, we love him over here. We love Grado. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you very much, guys. Really excited about this series. I hope you are too. Please, if you've got any tips for a local to global, let me know down below because I'm really going to need it. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, do it all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.